This video is about domestic three-phase electricity distribution at low voltage without the use of a transformer. In this case, the transformer is not uh, necessary because uh, the power requirement is not high or the load is not uh, big. Please do subscribe to my channel and follow me in this video as I make use of an example to illustrate the concept. Now the illustration. A block of two flats is located where electrical power distribution is at 400 volts line to line, 230 volts line to neutral, 50 hertz or 60 hertz frequency, given that the power requirement of the block of flats is red phase 27 kVA, yellow phase 29 kVA and blue phase 28 kVA. Question A. Determine the full load generator power rating for the building. B. Hence or otherwise, draw the power supply schematic diagram for the building. And those are the questions. Now, answer to the questions. We have red face load 27 kVA, yellow face 29 kVA, blue face 28 kVA. Then, now, full load generator power rating is equal to 3 times the highest phase load, which is equal to 3 times 29 kVA, which is equal to 87. And the next available, already available in the market, the generator size is uh, 100 kVA. So, we choose 100 kVA. And that is what uh, is being shown there. So, you have to multiply the highest phase load, which is 29, by 3. If you take the algebraic sum of the phase load, it will be correct. It will be incorrect, just as I explained in one of my videos regarding the uh, sizing of transformers. Alright, so with that, you have the generator, the full load generator, uh, power rating is 100 kV. Now the supply is star. Since we have a, 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 a 400 volts line to line and 230 volts line to neutral, just as we have here. So this one indicates that or it implies that the supply is star connection. So when we have uh, when we have star connection, I line is equal to I phase, and the the value is calculated as uh, 100 times 1000 divided by 3 times 400, and that is 144. And this is uh, the next uh, available or readily available circuit breaker in the market is 160 ampere triple phase with neutral so this is uh, uh, and then this is MCCB now moving on the power supply schematic uh, diagram for the building is this so we have from the mains we are 400 volts line to line 230 volts line to neutral at uh, 50 or 60 hertz frequency this is the main side. Then we have the we have metering unit, okay, three phase metering unit at uh, low voltage, 400 uh, volt line to line, 230 volts to I mean from line to neutral, and we have the 160 amp triple phase with neutral MCCB as a uh, which uh, the value of which is calculated here, all right. So now we have uh, the generator side. Generator size is, uh, or the rating is 100 kVA, uh, 400 volts line to line, 230 volts line to neutral, and at 50 hertz or 60 hertz as the situation may be. Then from here we have ingress protection 65. 
cubicle type MCCB. So is to further protect the the generator. We know that the generator itself has an inbuilt circuit breaker. This one is just to complement uh, the inbuilt circuit breaker. Then from here, from here we come to from here and here we come to this uh, red box, which is a uh, 160 amp MCCB interlock or changeover switch. So it's 160 amp triple phase with neutral interlock or we can call it a changeover switch. The if you don't use uh, the, I'm using interlock here, mechanical interlock, but there is also an option of making use of changeover switch. But the advantage of uh, using mechanical interlock like this is that these are circuit breakers and they can offer protective functions unlike ordinary changeover switch which will not uh, offer any protective function as it doesn't have any circuit breaker or any fuse inside, inside it all right so we move on so this is the the load panel, all right. So, which is also 160 amp um, triple phase with neutral MCCB panel, low voltage panel, of course, uh, 400 volt line to line, 230 volt uh, line to neutral, all right. Then we have the incoma to the incoma of the uh, the panel being 160 amp um, triple phase MCCB. And also we have the outgoing circuit breakers. This is MCCB, MCCB, MCCB. The sizes of these MCCBs or the ratings depend on the, the ratings of this distribution board. This is distribution board A. This is distribution board A feeding flat A. Distribution board B feeding flat B. And we have a, a spare outgoing. The outgoings could be more than three, depending on the number of uh, flats to be reasonably fed with a three phase low voltage uh, power supply system. All right. Now, this supply here could be from three phase electric pole or from a three-phase uh, feeder pillar system so and finally please do subscribe to my dk multimedia solutions uh, channel i expect more informative videos thanks for watching